हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉर एम सीरीज दिस इज द पार्ट वन ऑफ एम इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई विल बी कवरिंग लॉट्स ऑफ एम बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एम बेस्ड नॉलेज एंड एम बेस्ड प्रैक्टिकल सिनेरियोस सो इन पार्ट वन आई विल बी कवरिंग टू थिंग फर्स्ट इज वॉट इज एम एंड सेकेंड वन डिफरेंट वर्जन ऑफ एम so let's move to first question what is mvc so uh, what is mvc mvc is nothing but model view controller mvc comes under architectural design pattern in reality there are three types of design patterns are available first one is creational pattern in this singleton and abstract factory comes second one architectural or structural design pattern the example of this design patterns are web api mvc so as i said mvc comes under architectural pattern and third way third one is behavioral patterns in this strategy and iterators are example of this patterns so as i said mvc is mvc comes under architectural pattern why it is considered in architectural pattern because the architecture of mvc means it has got model view controller is defined in a way that uh, uh, it has got few few predefined folder structures so that is considered in architectural pattern or it is also known as structural design pattern to understand more uh, about mvc we have to understand what is model what is view and what is controller so to understand this let's open one notepad yeah so for this uh, the model view and controller those who have worked in asp.net if suppose you have to open particular page in asp.net how you do it suppose you have one home.aspx so this home.aspx it is a physical physical page available okay this is a physical page here that home.aspx page must exist similarly if you want to open same thing in mvc how you are going to do it www. here we have to give home and suppose we have another thing details so here home is known as a controller controller and this details is nothing but a action so method or function so in mvc fun method of function are called action okay so suppose uh, in dot net in sp dot net we have one login page we have one login page and in this button we have in this page we have one button uh, that is a suppose login button so when anyone clicks on that login button what happens there is a event generated and that event is written in a cs if you are using c sharp or vb so this cs is written in a code behind page okay so similar logic can be written in this controller in this controller okay and uh, in this controller so what is the controller controller controls the flow between your view and your data so whenever any person has to open the particular page in mvc what he has to do first he has to uh, call the controller and in controller we have to write the action so as i said this home is your controller and this detail is your action okay to understand more how we are going to write it so first of all you have to write a public class and this class name is home and remember in mvc each controller must have this controller word so home is a controller name and this controller word should be appended in front of controller name 
okay and like in asp.net aspx pages each page is inherited or or it inherits page class similarly in mvc it inherits the controller class yeah. so as i said we will be having one controller and inside that we, we will be having public action result and this details so detail is nothing but a action like this as i said this is a method only but in mvc it is called action so here you have to say return return view okay so here first you have to give a request to controller inside the controller there will be one action and action result action will decide which page it we have to return so here if you can see we have written view return view so by default this returns what if we have not given any name so by default it returns the view details so what will be the name of view detail so let me explain what is the view view is nothing but a page so in asp.net what we have aspx pages okay in uh, mvc we have these views so the extension of view could be cshtml c sharp html if we are using razor okay i'll explain what is the razor and what is the cshtml for now just understand uh, view is nothing but your uh, pages pages is your ui controller home is your controller and this detail is your action so in this you will have to give the request for controller then its action action will decide which page or which view we have to call even if user wants user can give the specific name here okay like suppose index page is there so user has to give the name like this okay for now if you don't give the name by default it is going to search the details name okay so uh, i hope you have understood what is the controller and what is the view let's understand the model model so till now uh, in uh, aspx pages or in asp.net you might have used data table or data set okay uh, to retrieve the data from database when we are retrieving and we are storing some variable on some object so generally data table and data set is used in asp.net in aspx pages okay now that thing has been replaced with a model how uh, for example suppose we have one database okay in this database we have one table tbl employee in this tbl employee we have three properties id and uh, suppose first name and last name okay now uh, if user uh, wants to retrieve the data from database and he has to store in some variable or some object so you must have studied uh, or you might know about the properties okay so suppose if i want to create one class this it will have three properties how to write it properties public int id get and set okay these name uh, id it is not mandatory uh, to match the name uh, whatever we have written here but still uh, for now let's write the same name public string string first name first name and then get set let's write one more property dot net people love to copy the code so let's copy it last name okay get set so when user wants to retrieve the data and store in some variable or some object so this employee model which contains your data is called the model okay so how to write the how to retrieve the data and uh, what are the ways to um, fetch the data from database we will be 
seeing in uh, in upcoming videos for now just understand so this employee model is a container we can say which contains your actual data and it is called your model okay so i hope you have understood let me explain what i have uh, i have explained in this video so what is controller controller is nothing but uh, it controls the flow between your pages and your logic so first user has to give the request through browser in controller so as i said that this is a home is a controller then uh, from controller it is going to go in uh, this details details is nothing but your action okay this is your action and then uh, it is going to uh, go in this details page and in this details page what will happen it is going to uh, see the logic what is the logic written inside this so this written view so uh, by default as i said it is going to search this name this deto details view and it is whatever you have written the logic in that view or uh, the coding html that is going to display in a browser third thing i explain this model what is model model so earlier you used to dot net people used to have data table data set but now uh, uh, strongly type like employee model or get set property we can say is being used especially when we are using entity framework so it is quite uh, frequently used and employee model so i gave you the example it has got three columns so these are the three columns and we are fetching the record so we have to use this employee model okay let's move to this that slide okay so this is a, a pictorial uh, presentation of that so home controller so home is your controller name this index index is your action name and view so by default written the index view so it is going to search that index view and this controller what is the controller controller is your base class okay you might also see this action result for now i am telling you a little bit of that action result is your base class uh, earlier you have seen written type string integer character or data table data set but this is a special type which will uh, we are going to study in brief or in uh, in upcoming uh, video series okay so let's move to another question or another topic uh, different versions of MVC it is very important uh, when a person is starting MVC so that person must know what are the different versions of MVCs are available and uh, uh, even if you are working in existing system project so uh, how to know what are the version and uh, uh, what are the new feature have been introduced so uh, in this screen you can see mvc1 was introduced with dotnet framework 3.5 and the release date was 13th march 2000 these are the features uh, right hand side if you can see there are lots of features maybe you may not understand all the features but uh, you i'll share this ppt with you guys so that you can read the letter second mvc2 mvc3 mvc uh, 4 5 6 so latest version of mvc till i'm uh, creating this video is mvc 6 and uh, um, i have started my career from this mvc 2 3 4 5 and uh, in this video series we will be studying about mvc 4 and 5 i will be using visual studio 2013 okay so uh, that's it from uh, this video i hope you have liked uh, my video and if you have any question related to mvc or you have any suggestion or something so you can uh, comment you can uh, send me a mail and please subscribe my video so that i can upload lots of videos thank you